Okay, it's pretty straightforward on how to use this order form. I try to make uh, it as flexible as possible. So I we provide a lot of services here, but it's everything, video, audio, film, photos, slides, uh, everything, everything. So it's going to fall in those one of those categories, either video, video, tape, repair, audio, audio, tape, repair. Uh, then we got one category for photo and slides, and then finally film. So if you just wanted to look at a particular category, if you're only interested in video, you can kind of shorten your list by clicking here, this down arrow here, and picking video. So you're only going to see the video-related categories. And then you can make your choices here. And I'll, I'll go over the um, how, to, how to actually enter the, the amounts and so on and so forth. Then if you go to the right of this thing, you'll see a reset thing just pop up here. If you want to reset the categories back to what they were originally. So it shows all the all the items, and there are 29 items at this time. This might grow, I don't know. So let's say you're only doing videotape transfers. You're converting, we do all videotapes. So you're converting it to whatever DVD, USB, cloud, we do it all. So let's say you have five videotapes. So you can either enter it manually here, enter five. So I just hit the keyboard or hit the up and down arrows here, five. Okay, so if you're just doing that one line, then you just hit the add to cart button. In a second, you'll see kind of a floating cart that'll show you how many items you have in the cart. Five items totaling $100. And you can, uh, if you're done, you can just click view cart and then take the next step, which is obviously, you know, paying for it and, and uh, checking out. If you want to make any corrections again, you can go view cart. I'm going to go ahead and click it real quick here. It opens under the tab. This way it keeps this one open here. And then you can make your adjustments here if you wanted to say four and then update cart. And not only will it update it here, it should update it. There it is. It just updated on the floating cart. This way you can keep a running total as well. If you want to delete all of it, you hit that little garbage can right there. It's empty cart. You can get rid of all of them. So I'm just going to get rid of them all for a second. This also shows you how many, even in the button, it shows you how many items you have in there. So right now we just cleared it. So now nothing's in there. If you're doing more than one service, let's say you're doing the five video tapes here. Actually, before you even do that, if you're going to do more than one service, go ahead and check that little checkbox here right next to the service. So I'm going to click that, put in my totals here, five video tapes, and it tracks it up there. And let's say I'm also doing five copies. Um, so if you're transferring these to DVD and you want to make an extra copy of each one, so select that. So that means you did five tapes, so five DVDs. Okay, so now that those two are, are selected, instead of hitting um, the buttons individually, you can hit the one up here that says Add to Cart, and it'll add it all in one shot. So now you got ten items, five, five videotapes, and five um dvd copies and again there we are floating cart um and you can view it and see all the details and that's pretty much it i don't think you really need to know anything beyond that um obviously you can select all categories which you're not going to really do and i think that's it um so it's pretty straightforward and then i'll have another video on once you go let's say we're viewing cart uh, and your items are there, everything's good, then we'll obviously going to check out. But you see it's everything is in order. You're going to shop first. It's going to go into the cart. Once it's final, then you're going to check out, which there's a button down there. And then the rest of it we'll discuss in a separate video.